Hi planner friends, it's Jessica. Welcome back to my channel and this is going to be a plan with me for the first week in this new 2017 version of the Erin Condren Life Planner. So this is actually Wednesday the 29th, early Wednesday that I am filming this. My last plan with me that I put up on my typical Sunday Erin Condren plan with me was in the horizontal planner and it turned out beautiful. It was my first time doing one and I loved the way it turned out. The reason why I did it is I was trying to give myself some time to brainstorm how I wanted to plan in this new planner. I guess you could say I've kind of been getting a little bit bored with the same thing I do every week and I watch so many plan with me's like you have no idea I love them if you have a planner channel I've probably came across it at some point or another but I've been really inspired with some planner girls and all these different styles there's white space planning there's people that plan as they go like they film every day and that way they could actually put down every event with adorable little icons and I was trying to think how I could maybe do something like that well reality hit and I realized first of all I don't have the equipment to do a voiceover like some do for the plan as I goes also I don't want to say my life is boring, but it's a little bit more on the basic side than other people. Um, number one, school's long gone. I've been out of college for years now. I'm a stay-at-home mom, so I do not have a job that I could plan for. Um, we don't live in a state with family, so there's not like birthday parties or even shopping trips with my sister or nothing like that that I could plan for. I don't own an Etsy shop, so I can't even place down when new releases are coming up and things like that. So that's why I realized, oh, that's why I've always purchased a beautiful kit and just kind of placed the stickers down where they belong and then use my planner. My family is also very go with the flow uh, kind of family. I've always been a little bit more structured. I loved, uh, I love making lists. I'm a big lister. My husband is so the opposite. So <laughs> we've been together for a while now and we've kind of become a go with the flow family. So it's actually even hard to pre-plan. I may think I know what's coming up, but we really just go with the flow in life. So I came across a couple channels where people do use their sticker kits just a little bit more um, flexibly, I guess. They're, they just are a little bit more free with how they use them. And uh, so I thought maybe that's where I should at least start. If I want to break away a little bit from my same routine, but still be able to use all the kits that I purchased, guys. I mean, I am set through July for sure. I just did a sticker haul. I could place it up at the I button and you could click at that at any time if you're interested. But um, yeah, I have all these lovely kits and I had one that I wanted to use for this week. And so I, I, I just could not skip this week. I was hoping I'd get my thoughts figured out and I'd start here with a 4th of July theme and I thought no I don't want to do that so I am going to film a plan with me all I know is what I did on Tuesday and Monday and um, I'm just gonna try this new style it's it's actually not too different because I'm still going to use a lot of structure from a kit but I'm gonna try to um, maybe have a little bit space here and there and We'll just see how it takes me. I hope this rambling hasn't made you click off the video already, but I wanted to explain myself um, a little bit. And uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and first I'll show you the kit that I chose specifically for this week to be my first kit in this Erin Condren. So here it is, it's called Glam Squad by the shop Willow Fields. And as you can see, it's so beautiful. At least I think so. I love the peacock feathers, the fashion Dior. Uh, look how beautiful the drawing is of that girl. Um, I love floral, so I just thought it would be great. Gold accents of little glitter here and there because I went with the neutral planner I thought that having kit 
that had some darker colors and blacks. And also, Erin Condren chose to go with, as you can see, July here, this kind of darker blue. So I thought this is perfect. I already kind of went and, and went through every page in my sticker haul, so I'll just kind of flip through it real quick. And as you can see, this kit really does provide a lot, and it would make a gorgeous no white space spread. And look at this deco, I love it. But if I end up with extra stickers, I'm gonna be okay with that. First of all, I use a personal size planner, so leftovers go great in those small inserts. And um, I'll try to use as much deco as I can, but these girls here are kind of large. So I would, I'd be happy with saving them and even decorating maybe some dividers in ring bound planners. So anyways, this is what I'm going to use, and we're going to go ahead and do a typical plan with me with a little bit of uh, flexibility, I suppose. <laughs> so I will start with the washi down at the bottom here. So what I think I will do is I definitely would like to have a checklist per day, so I'm going to take these beautiful like they're they're decorative all on their own with these little borders these little checklists and we do have a ton of headers to choose from instead of making it just to do I could do important and then it could mean whatever I want it to list some days I have more to do's than others for instance Monday I have a ton it's my big cleaning day um, other days I don't really have a lot of to-dos because I might film the majority of the day and then that's what I list or uh, maybe I want to list Etsy packages that have, you know, come in the mail. So maybe I'll just do important and that way it can mean whatever. Okay, with my checklists down, I'm going to go ahead and take out the full boxes, and I think they're just so beautiful. I really want to showcase them at the top row and try not to cover them up too much. So I think definitely Glam Squad should go in this sidebar, which this sidebar definitely scares me because I don't know how things are supposed to fit in here. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think I'll save that one. And then I'll just randomly alternate around these designs. Uh, I love them all. After I place these full boxes down, I'll put the today header up top. And they're in this gorgeous navy. We also have some date cover-ups, which is really cool. I have horrible handwriting. It's something I wish I could change, <laughs> but you write them in yourself. And so I think I might place those up top too. I think next I'm going to go ahead and put down this Hello Weekend. I don't know if I call it a banner or not. <laughs> right under the Today. I'll just put it right across underneath the headers. And I actually, oh wow. That's like cut super long. Look how far out it goes. Well... I guess I'm just going to need to leave it because <laughs> I, mm, yeah, we'll just let it hang off there, I suppose. Also, I was really wanting to use these adorable little um, flags here to cover up and match. But since the date cover has covered up this one here, um, I guess I could choose to do one. I'll just do one over here. I think this might be slightly longer, but I'm going to try to line it up and see if I could get away with not trimming it. Yeah, that works fine. Okay, now I'm going to leave this alone. This is where I'm going to kind of do my, I guess, free 
flowing planning. I'm not going to put down any structured things from the kit. I am going to start working over here at the sidebar. So this kit really does provide a lot of things for your sidebar. I just have not set this sidebar up yet, so I don't know exactly how things are supposed to fit, but it's nice because we have a lot to work with. I'm going to take that last decorative box and put it down and just, I guess, kind of do what I'm used to. And I'll put this over the thankful thought. It is like a little dotted line, and that J for June does dip down into it. But I'm going to line it up with that dotted line. And we'll just have to cover up a little bit of June. I like that. I also love that there is um, some habit trackers. I love that there's dinner for sure. Because I do meal plan. I'm just not sure what I want to really put down first. I'm not sure where it'll end. Um... I would love to be able to get all three of these boxes and a habit tracker, but it looks like it might overlap. Maybe I'll start at the bottom and work my way up. Now because I do not have a job and this box here says work, I'm going to pull out the headers and I think I will make it buy so I could track my spending I'm supposed to be on a no spend guys but realistically I'll probably spend at some point so I will just I guess put um, the amount if I do end up spending throughout the week and then it uh, doesn't look like I have enough room for two habit trackers nope no way I could pick one mmm so I'm gonna probably actually need to pull out the washi which is fine and I I just really love the floral so I'll take one of the little pieces of floral place this under here and then put my habit tracker over it Perfect. Well, it isn't actually perfect. It's very uneven. Probably because I put a box down here and then went up that way. I wasn't sure what was going to fit. All well, let's move on. So now what I think I'll do is grab out my Scribble Prince Co. glitter headers that I was so excited that she released. And I'm going to put a glitter header underneath each of these full boxes. I think I'm going to stay with one color and I'm going to probably pick one of these blues here. It's just really hard to pick which one because they all kind of look nice to be honest. Maybe I think I will go with... I'm going to go with this one right here and I'm just going to place one all the way across underneath the full boxes. So now that I have what I would like to use as my main structure, I'm going to kind of use this area to pre-plan out my week. Okay, I zoomed you guys in just a little bit closer so we could see everything daily here. On Monday, the first thing that I am going to do is grab out one of these mini marquees that is sponsored by coffee. I think I want to place it up top here because I don't know if I have enough room for everything that I want to put down in the section here so I went and took my son out to a frozen yogurt shop I love that place myself because you could uh, add all kinds of toppings and it's just so yummy so I'm gonna take a oh hello stationery co little ice cream sundae as my icon for that cute I also had a doctor's appointment that I had to go to on Monday, so I'll use a half box from the kit to mark that. And I actually am going to take out one of my Happy Planner sticker books. It's all in gold. Now that I have a gold coil, I feel like it add in gold. I'm so excited. Um, so yeah, 
I think this will be pretty. I'm going to take the little doctor symbol there for my appointment. And then I also had to go drop off a prescription right after my appointment. So I will take a little medicine bottle by Fleur de Lis Planners. We'll take like a blue shade, one of the pretty blue shades. On Monday, I posted a picture on Instagram of a cover in Erin Condren planner cover, one of these interchangeable ones, that I'm going to give away to somebody. I'm doing it on my Instagram. So if you would like to follow me on Instagram and you're not currently, down below in the description box I have my Instagram account and I'm just running that for a week. It's just one of the VIP interchangeable covers for the year 2017. On Monday my son had a baseball game and we have these black labels by KPL Plans. So I'm going to put that down here to mark that he had a baseball game. And I actually kind of really like the way that that turned out. So I'm good on Monday and let's go to Tuesday. So on Tuesday I went shopping with my son and we went to Target and we went to Michael's and I picked up some undo and he got to pick out some fun things in the Target dollar spot. So did I. <laughs> that place sucks you in even if you're not going in there for those items. So this is a half box from the kit that I'm going to place long. Just to mark out we went shopping. So I have this super cute little girl sticker by Fox and Pip. And she is holding a little Target bag and a Starbucks cup which I love to get me some Starbucks while I'm in Target so I thought it would be really fun to place her in. Since going shopping is one of my most favorite things I think I will take one of these beautiful clever gal craft skinny hearts. It's got some gold foiling in it. I'm just kind of put it up at the top there. We had a fun day shopping yesterday. And then from the kit, I'm going to go ahead and pull out this little gas because I did fill up my gas when I was out. So I'm going to kind of just mark that in my checklist here. So now on to Wednesday, which is the current day. I am currently filming a video. So I'm going to go ahead and take out these awesome laptop stickers. They are by Panda Bird Designs. I'm going to place that down since I will be filming and editing this so that hopefully I get it up tomorrow. Also by Panda Bird Designs I have these which are really cute. She actually digitally hand it out herself. I'm going to go ahead and put the word film right in the center of the little computer here. Later on in the evening my son has a practice. He actually has quite a few baseball things to do this week. So we're going to practice this evening. I'll just put another KPL plans label down. Okay, so I'm done with this half. I'm going to go ahead and flip on over to Thursday and the second half of the week. So now I am future planning. On Thursday, I pretty much just have some chores I need to do to prepare for Friday. Friday's our payday, so the day before, I like to meal plan and get my grocery list ready, and then also do a budget so I know exactly, oh man, I did that so crooked, exactly what bills are due that we need to pay. And so I'm going to mark that in this half box once I get it down. So I wanted to use some things from the kit here. And I thought it would be cute if I maybe took little flags and used some icons to indicate both of those things there. Um, there's nothing for meal planning. So I'm going to pull out this sheet here by Planning Roses and this is obviously going to be too big so I'm going to take these little ones that I appreciate she added to the sheet there and put that next to the flag for my 
meal planning and then we'll grab out another flag here and we'll do the budget and she actually has a budget sticker which is so cool I've never really seen a kit have one before I don't know if you guys could see this right here in this kind of gold foiled looking little icon it is a money symbol on a piece of paper and that is exactly what I would think of when budgeting so I'll place that right in there and those are my two chores and once again my son has something to do for his baseball but the season is almost over next week it'll be done he'll have another game here on this Thursday so I'll just go ahead and put down another label for that by KPL plans and Thursday is our trash night so I'll take the trash can to put in my little checklist because it's important that we remember to take that guy out it's I gotta mark it because the neighborhood just makes it really hard with their rules like you can't put it out before 8 p.m. and then it gets picked up at like 6 a.m. the next day so um, yeah I need to mark my trash most of the time so on Friday I'm gonna be kinda busy doing a lot of chores it'll be our payday as I mentioned so I think I'm gonna use some littles to stack up for these so payday and then I need to go to the grocery store so we got a cart here perfect and then since I will be at the grocery store that is right next to my P.O. box so I will take the little happy mail looking one with the mailbox to indicate going there see if I have any happy mail and then because it is Friday that's when the weekend kind of starts for us I thought I could take this little heart to just represent whatever it is that we kind of do for Friday night or sometimes we don't really do anything but we might like order in or something like that but I don't think that this little heart is quite enough to indicate something fun like a Friday night. So I'm going to grab out my Clever Gal Crafts hearts and put one kind of next to that there. So I'm kind of excited for this weekend because The Legend of Tarzan is coming out. So I pulled out this sheet which is by Paper Loving Mommy and it has a marquee on it that I thought the colors kind of went well. So I'm going to place that down because I cannot wait to go see that. And then we also have a little birthday party to attend for my son's friend from school. So I really like these little marquees by Sponsored by Coffee. And I'll take that to indicate the birthday party. And then I think I'll grab out some little balloon icons. Got to do that when it's a party. So I have these beautiful ones by Planner-esque. I really liked them. So I haven't even taken one off the sheet yet. And let's see what color... I'm kind of liking staying with the dark shades with this kit because I'm not sure if I'll have a really dark kit like this again so take advantage of it now. Ah, I like it on this side. There we go. That's for the birthday party so that's our Saturday. So my husband has a federal job so he's going to actually get a four day weekend which is pretty exciting so after our Saturday we actually haven't decided yet if we're going to take like a small little trip maybe somewhere within the state and uh, do something if not we'll definitely be entertaining ourselves somehow so I wanted to take a half box to put in the center of Sunday and then of course I want to mark it with one of my pretty clever gal crafts hearts since it'll be fun that he's get an extra weekend I'll put it off to this side this time and I'll just fill in whatever we do decide to do 
But before I could take off, of course, my Erin Condren plan with me for the next week should be uploaded on this Sunday. So I think I'll take some of these things in the kit to mark what I like to do on Sunday, and it's mostly social media. I'm going to line up some flags, and we'll put one down to post onto Instagram. And then we'll take out the little camera icon to represent that. I also want to mark that my plan with me will be live. And I like to try to answer the comments as they start coming in. So I'll put down a little laptop. And then last but not least, I like to hop on to my Facebook page as well as the Erin Condren fan page on Facebook. And I will take this cute little icon that looks like an internet signal. <laughs> and there we go. I'm actually all pre-planned out. So I'll zoom you guys back out. I want to go ahead and take advantage of this deco sheet, at least the smaller things that I think will fit. I'm definitely going to save these pretty girls to put on something else that has more room for them, but I'm just going to find places that I can decorate, and I'll speed you right on through as I finish this part. Okay, I think I'm done. I absolutely love how this turned out. It's so cute. And I really enjoyed trying out a different kind of planning style from what I have done in the past. So I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. If so, let me know by giving me a thumbs up because I always appreciate it. And until I see you guys next time, have a beautiful day and bye-bye.